All right, I've been meaning to do this here on the channel for a really long time, okay? So one thing that you guys probably don't know about me is that I really like music. And I don't mean like, uh, like pop or rap or any of that, even though I do really love that kind of music too. But I mean specifically original soundtracks. So a lot of the time when I'm just hanging out or maybe I'm doing work or something, I really like to put on like a video game soundtrack, like The Legend of Zelda. I still love that music, it still holds up. Or maybe I'll put on a movie soundtrack like Inception or something like that, just to really get my, my blood pumping, you know? So I think you get the point. Uh, but naturally I have some very strong opinions about the Call of Duty lobby music, which I think over the years, you know, the Call of Duty lobby soundtrack has become an iconic part of each game. I guarantee most of you out there in the past year have seen a meme that has the Black Ops 2 lobby soundtrack in it. So I figured it was finally time to put together my definitive Call of Duty lobby soundtrack tier list. So as per usual, we've got our God tier up here. We've got A, B, C, and the lowly Piccadilly which as we've always done here on the channel is the worst of the worst. This is the place you, you never wanna be. And this is just a template I found online. So I cleared out some of these rows right here. We really, you really don't need that many. Uh, I don't need that much precision. We'll be fine with just the, the five of these. And this one also came with the first three Call of Duties, which you know people nowadays don't really know, myself included, I never really played them. So I'm just gonna put them right here in this nifty little never played row. One more thing to say before we get started, okay? And I think I've said this in probably most of my Call of Duty tier lists that we've done here on this channel. But a lot of these rankings are probably gonna be carried somewhat by nostalgia. I considered trying to put this list together uh, like without any nostalgia, but I was thinking about it, I was listening to the tracks, and there's just no way to leave nostalgia completely out of it. It's always gonna play a role. It's always gonna factor in somehow. So I'm gonna try my hardest to rank each track just based on the track alone, but like I said, nostalgia is gonna be a factor. Oh, and also I'm gonna try and edit in the lobby music into the video so that you guys can hear it, hopefully as I'm talking about it, because I know a lot of these, maybe some of you have never heard some of these tracks or maybe you've just forgotten. So I'm gonna do my best to put it in the actual video. All right, so with all of that out of the way, let's get started with Call of Duty 4, the original Modern Warfare. So right up front, this lobby track is really good. This was a fantastic start for modern Call of Duty games. It has that gritty, you know, like modern feel to it, uh, which is funny because, you know, if you listen to the Modern Warfare 2019 soundtrack, which we're gonna get to later on, but it definitely sounds like, uh, you know, that soundtrack was still derivative of this original Modern Warfare, which I'm sure was uh, on purpose. But this track does kind of have that slower paced. It feels more tactical. It's kind of like, it's the type of thing you might hear in your ear during the uh, that clean house mission from Modern Warfare 2019. You guys know what I'm talking about. And like I was saying, this is a great start for modern Call of Duty because the soundtrack, you know, it really, it gives you this serious feeling. It kind of lets you know that the game is is taking that that modern setting really seriously. I think maybe my one critique of this track, and uh, we're gonna talk more about this again with all the other ones too, is that it's not exactly fun in any way. Like I said, it's so serious and emotional. It kind of like brings you down emotionally just a little bit. And while I do like that, there is a part of me that wants that lobby track to kind of like get you psyched to hop into the game. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I do think that this is a very well-made track. And again, this one really pioneered the modern Call of Duty sound. So I gotta put this in A. Moving on to Call of Duty World at War. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, all right? And I bet a lot of you guys uh, relate to this. This lobby track still gives me nightmares to this day. If we were ranking these tracks based on uh, horror factor, then this one would be, this would be God tier of God tier. There's nothing else in Call of Duty that even comes close to being as horrifying as this track was. But to give credit where credit's due, you know, it does, like I was saying with the Modern Warfare track, which I felt like really kind of matched the theme and the setting of the game, this one does the same thing. With World at War in general, I feel like they were really trying to capture that uh, bleak, hopeless nature of war. And this this track definitely does that. But again, just like I was saying with the Modern Warfare one, I, I personally kind of want the track to uplift me a little bit, you know? I don't need it to be super happy, but I do need it to be kind of like somewhat upbeat possibly, uh, gets me in the mood to play, makes me excited. This one makes me want to curl up in a ball in the corner of the room. So I guess depending on how you uh, 
you know, how you want to measure these things, some people might say that that makes this a god tier track just because it elicits such a strong emotional reaction out of you. Um, so I guess, you know, it does do that really well. And don't get me wrong, I am incredibly nostalgic for this track, but I don't, I can't put it up on A. I don't think it's as good. It kind of hurts to put it on C. So I, I think it fits in kind of nicely in B tier. So we'll go ahead and put it there. All right, let's move on to one of the big ones, Modern Warfare 2. So this lobby track, I think does everything that the original Modern Warfare lobby track did, but it adds a little bit to it. It does it a little bit better. So it still has kind of that serious uh, grittiness to it. It kind of gives you that tactical feeling that of course, uh, the Modern Warfare series has always gone for, but this one is just a little bit less dreary. Like I said, that Modern Warfare track, it kind of like, it kind of like weighs on you emotionally in a negative way. But this one, I feel like it's, you know, it's kind of like getting you ready to hop in and to play. And this is a really high quality track too. The whole album really for Modern Warfare 2 is extremely high quality. Uh, I bet a lot of you guys out there didn't know, but this soundtrack was actually composed by Hans Zimmer, who, if you don't know, did the music for the Dark Knight trilogy, he did uh, Inception, he did Interstellar, basically any of those big, booming, like awesome movie soundtracks uh, were done by Hans Zimmer. So this is a really good track. I think that this one does just about everything that I personally want a Call of Duty lobby soundtrack to do. It's not so energetic to the point that it's exhausting, but it's also not so dreary. I mean, it's basically perfect. Where else can we put it other than God tier? All right, so let's go ahead and move on to Black Ops 1, which I bet a lot of you guys know, this is my favorite Call of Duty of all time. So let's talk about this lobby track. It's a bit slower, it's kind of on the slow end. Um, I think, you know, all the ones that we've talked about thus far have been a little bit slower. As you'll see though, as we get into the more modern games, for some reason they really pace these things up. The, the new ones have a lot more energy than these old ones do. But this one still has kind of that slow feeling to it. It still kind of has that tactical uh, military sound. Only here in this one, we start to get a little bit of the uh, those electric guitars mixed in, which I think works for the most part here in the, uh, in the Black Ops 1 soundtrack. Uh, as these, as the Black Ops games go on, uh, in Black Ops 2, like we'll talk about in a second, they really, they go overboard with that, but, but we'll get there. This is a great track. Like I said, this is my favorite COD. I have a lot of nostalgia for this track. I don't think you quite feel it in your stomach as much as you do with this Modern Warfare one. Like I was saying, man, that Modern Warfare 2, that, that Hans Zimmer soundtrack, it really, like, you feel it in your bones. So I don't know if I can put this up with Modern Warfare 2, but it definitely belongs in A tier. This is... Like I said, one of the better Call of Duty lobby tracks we ever got. All right, so moving on to Modern Warfare 3. This one definitely picks up the pace a little bit. Definitely the most energetic theme that we've uh, talked about thus far. It's got some pounding drums, you know, it's a little bit faster. I'd say almost to the point of being like a little bit invasive on your menu experience, you know? Sometimes you're just chilling out, you're trying to put together your class. I don't like that feeling of like being you know, on like some crazy adrenaline high while I'm just trying to put together my class. But this is a good track. I like the way that it sounds. Uh, it has a more perilous feel to it. Uh, like the other ones that we've talked about, they kind of had a slower, kind of more tactical feel. This one doesn't really have the tactical feel. This has like a, a war feel, which I guess it, it kind of makes sense. If I'm not mistaken, Modern Warfare 3 was a like a World War 3 global type storyline. And I think that kind of sound is definitely present in this lobby track. So I don't hate it. It's not it's not Piccadilly for sure. I honestly, I think I could put this in C. Uh, it's pretty forgettable. Like honest, off the top of my head, I couldn't even remember what this one sounded like. I had to go look it up. And you know, I had my gripes with that World at War soundtrack, but it is it is a great lobby track. So uh, I can't I can't put this on that same level. This is definitely a C. All right, so let's move on to what I would say might be the most a recognizable Call of Duty lobby music, and that is Black Ops 2. So what does this track sound like? Well, this one takes a serious turn into electric territory. This one is so different from anything we had heard in Call of Duty at this point. Black Ops 2 being a futuristic game, they decided to make this track 
really electronic sounding. It's like a techno track. It's fast, it's upbeat, it's really electronic. Like I said, we have electric guitar, the drums are hitting really hard. You have some of these distorted sounds thrown into the mix and there's even, if I'm not mistaken, there's even like some dubstep sounding things in there too. So look, I got nothing against electronic music. I like it just as much as the next guy, but I do not like this lobby track. I'm sorry. I know I'm really gonna get flamed from you guys for this one, but this is just not the type of sound I like to hear while I'm chilling in the lobby. Like we talked about with the Modern Warfare 3 track, this one is just, it's really invasive, you know? It kind of like, it keeps your, your heart pumping even though you're not even, you're not even in the game. You're supposed to be chilling out. And I guess maybe some people like that. I bet there are people out there who kind of love how it just maintains that really high energy even in the lobby. But also this track just kind of has for lack of a better word, I'm gonna call it a dude bro vibe to it. There's something about it that's just kind of douchey to me. I mean, I don't know <laughs> I don't know if that's just me, but that's kind of like the feel that I get from it. So I don't really like that sound. I don't really like the, the way that it's supposed to make you feel while you're just hanging out at the lobby. I know most people, most people will put this in God tier. I'm pretty sure a lot of people would put this in God tier. I kind of want, I would put it in C. I don't really like it, but like I said, nostalgia is playing a factor. You know, when I listen to it, I get that warm, fuzzy feeling just from the memories I have from Black Ops 2. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in B. All right, so Call of Duty Ghosts. This one is a very noticeable return to kind of like that original uh, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare sound. It's slower, it's more serious, it gives you that tactical feeling. It isn't quite as uh, heroic as I'd say the Modern Warfare 2 and the Black Ops 1 tracks are. Those ones, those ones have a slightly more uh, triumphant feel to them. Ghosts is more in line with that Modern Warfare, uh, that original Modern Warfare track. It's perilous, it's slow, it's tactical. I do like the grittiness that this brings. Like I said though, you know, my perfect lobby track is that Modern Warfare 2 track that does have that triumphant feeling to it. This one brings you down a little bit more emotionally. This is another one of those like the Modern Warfare 3 one where off the top of my head I had no idea what it sounded like. I had completely forgotten. So uh, I guess there's that, you know, it's a little bit forgettable. I'm gonna put it in C with that Modern Warfare track. All right, so Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. This is an extremely underrated lobby track. Uh, from an extremely underrated Call of Duty game, actually, as a whole. Funnily enough, this one does not sound as futuristic as Black Ops 2, even though Advanced Warfare, in terms of, you know, gameplay, is way more futuristic. This track does have some of those futuristic, uh, kind of like techno sounds, but it does still sound grounded in that tactical, classic Call of Duty feeling. My one big complaint with this track is there's this weird sound that it plays over and over again. That I just hate. It makes my skin crawl. I don't know why they, I don't know why they want to spam that sound so much in this track, man, but it's, it's not good. I don't think it adds a lot to it. In fact, I think it takes away from the track. If it weren't for that sound and that sound alone, I'd put it up in A because like I said, it has a, it has a slower tactical feeling. It has that heroic uh, vibe to it. You know, it's checking off all the boxes like we've already been talking about. But that one part was just like, it made me want to turn off the lobby music when I was playing this game. So I can't put it in A. But I think it fits nicely in B, so we'll put it there. Moving on to the infamous Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Honestly, this is another great track. Um, it does have that futuristic sound to it, obviously. This being, I think, probably the most uh, futuristic Call of Duty game that's ever been made. But when I listen to this track, though, it does kind of remind me a little bit more of that older Modern Warfare style. I feel like they were trying to bring that back just a little bit uh, and kind of mix it in with the modern futuristic stuff, with, which I appreciate, it's good. So it is a little bit slower, uh, it sounds more serious, like it kind of, you know, it makes you feel like the, the emotional stakes of the game are much higher when you listen to this. And I think my only real complaint with this one is that it's just a little bit more on the depressing side, uh, which like I've probably mentioned, I think four or five times by now, I don't really like hearing that depressing lobby music. If I'm gonna be playing this game for a whole year, you know, this that depressing music, it's gonna have a toll, it's gonna take a toll on me eventually. This one is really tough. It's definitely a B or a C. You know, it's kind of right there on the line. Um, I do feel like I like it pretty much 
just about as much as I like that Advanced Warfare track, so we'll put it in B. Alrighty, Black Ops 3, probably the most beloved uh, futuristic Call of Duty game. And while I was not really a fan of the gameplay that Black Ops 3 had to offer, I have to admit that this is a great lobby soundtrack. So when you listen to this one, you can definitely tell that it's a Black Ops track. It sounds like a continuation of that Black Ops 2 uh, lobby track, but like I was saying with that one, my big problem is that it was so fast and it was so invasive that I didn't really, I didn't like listening to that when I was uh, making my loadouts and stuff. I think this lobby track punches just as hard as that Black Ops 2 track did, but it's a little bit more reserved. So it's a little slower. I feel like it holds back just a little bit and that does wonders for the track. I definitely appreciate that when it comes to menu music. So it's definitely not supposed to give you a tactical feeling, you know, like the Modern Warfare games did, but it does give you like a, like a distorted robotic type feeling, which obviously is what they were going for with, uh, with Black Ops 3. As much as I don't like this game, I have to admit, I like this track a lot. I think it's great. This is going in the A tier. All right, Call of Duty World War II. I'll be, I'll just be flat out here. I think that this is a really boring lobby track. I don't think they were trying to do anything interesting at all with this. I think really what they wanted it to sound like was a uh, kind of like a World War II uh, Hollywood movie. It has that triumphant feeling, uh, which you know, like I said, I appreciate that. I like that when you listen to this, it makes you feel like a hero, but it's so generic, man. It's so boring. It sounds like something it sounds like I could have written this. I mean, I couldn't have, obviously, but it's so simple and generic that it makes me feel like maybe I could have. And to be fair, I think that's the uh, kind of the theme that they were going for with the whole game. They wanted it to feel like a classic, uh, generic World War II story. So I guess maybe I could give them a couple points for hitting the mark, but I don't know. This one might be Piccadilly, guys. We're throwing it in. I'm sorry, any World War II fans out there. All right, Black Ops 4, uh, underrated Call of Duty game. I don't like this lobby track. This one sounds like the twin brother to uh, the Black Ops 2 soundtrack. It's got that dude bro sound, you know, it's the electric guitar, it's really fast. You have the electric drums in there too. I just remember playing Black Ops 4, feeling like this music was like screaming at me the entire time while I was in the lobby. And uh, yeah, I, I don't like that feeling. So to me, the quality of this one is, is right on par with that of Black Ops 2, but I just don't, I don't have that nostalgia for this game so much. Even though, like I said, I feel like this is an underrated Call of Duty. I don't have that same nostalgic feeling for this track. So it doesn't carry it up to B like we had with that Black Ops 2 one. I'm gonna have to put that in C. All right, let's talk about Modern Warfare. So I do have to say that this, I think is the only Call of Duty game that actually had rotating lobby soundtracks. Uh, or maybe not rotating, but they added in new ones with each season. So season zero had one. I think it was actually the same one for season one, two. Uh, but then season two came and three and they changed it each season after that. So there were a lot of different lobby tracks. I feel like quality wise, they're all kind of on the same level. So I don't think I need to talk about each one individually, but we can kind of talk about all of them as a whole. But yeah, the lobby music in this game was fantastic. This is really, really good music here. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I do feel like they were trying to kind of harken back to that original Modern Warfare sound with this music, and they definitely successfully do that here. This lobby music does remind me of that original sound, but uh, <laughs> modernized, ironically, which, you know, this was Modern Warfare at the time, but of course that game is so old now that things have changed and uh, I feel like they kind of brought that same idea to our present day. Again, it's back to that tactical feeling, you know? It feels like you're, you know, you're walking around, you're checking the corners, you're ADSing, which <laughs> ironically is the, uh, you know, the gameplay style of Modern Warfare 2019. But it does make you feel just uh, generally, you know, more on edge when you're listening to it. Uh, so these lobby tracks were kind of interesting in that a lot of them sounded really perilous and intense, uh, and then they had moments where it would be like triumphant, which was really cool. So it kind of bounced back and forth, and I feel like I never really got sick of hearing the, the same part over and over again. But I still love the music from this game. Like I said, sometimes when I'm working or just hanging out, I like putting some soundtracks on, and I still listen to this Modern Warfare soundtrack. I think it's really good. It's one of the best ones we've ever had in Call of Duty. It's God tier. All right, we're almost done. Let's talk about Black Ops Cold War. 
This is one of the more, this is one of the funniest uh, Call of Duty soundtracks we've ever gotten. It sounds more like a dance track that you'd hear uh, in a club, you know, or maybe a club in the 80s, which I guess makes sense since this game does take place in the 80s. So give them props where props are due, I suppose. But yeah, this one doesn't even attempt to, to sound tactical or gritty at all, which I guess is kind of cool. You know, I appreciate the fact that they, they went for something new and they tried to shake it up here. Personally, I don't think that this one really resonated with me too much, but it, it never bothered me hearing it in the lobby, which uh, I can't say the same for a lot of these other ones. And it was kind of catchy, you know? Sometimes I'd turn off the game and I'd still be... But yeah, just in terms of my own personal taste, like everything else I've said, I think I prefer that tactical feeling over this this dance party feeling that this one gives me but at the same time i don't really have anything against this track so we'll put it in b this is kind of like this b tier is kind of like you know the ones that i like i don't hate i don't mind listening to them um and that's why you know it makes sense that we have a lot in this b tier i think moving on to our final game of the list call of duty vanguard so this game has only been out for, I think, like about a month at this point, and uh, it's hard to say how the music is going to hold up over time. Maybe even they'll add in more like they did with Modern Warfare. Um, so it's hard to judge it 100% accurately right now at the moment, but for now, I really like this lobby music. So let's go over all the things that we've learned putting together this list, the things that I like and the things that I don't like. Uh, I really like a heroic feeling to the music, and this definitely has that. Overall, with Vanguard, I think they were going for kind of like a comic booky feel to World War II, which I'm liking at this point. And the track has that cool, comic booky, triumphant feel. It's not too fast, check. It's not too invasive when I'm putting together my loadouts, which is especially important here since we have 10 frickin' attachments to put on each gun. And also, I wanna give this track points for being unique in its own right. You know, my uh, my big issue with that World War II track, the thing that got it put all the way down in Piccadilly, was that it felt so boring and generic that like I just wanted to fall asleep when I was listening to it. This one is a bit more bold, it's a bit more unique. I feel like a couple years down the line, people will still be able to recognize this music. Um, I mean, like I said, this is, I'm all just kind of guessing right now because Vanguard is still new but uh, that's how I feel at the moment. I think it's intense and it kind of just puts me in the mood to, to hop in and slide cancel and bunny hop around corners and all that good Call of Duty stuff. So I'm not gonna put it in God tier. Maybe if they added in some more tracks that were uh, equally as good or better, I might consider that in the future, but right now it's definitely, it's a solid A. I mean, it's good. I'm kind of surprised that I feel like putting it in A, but I do like it just about as much as I like these other tracks and I like it way better than any of these B tracks. So uh, yeah, I mean, I just gotta go with my gut. I'm putting it in A. So that does it for our Call of Duty lobby music tier list. I wanna hear what you guys think about this tier list and about what your own list would be like. Put it in the comments. And also, if you made it this far, comment down below with your favorite Call of Duty lobby track of all time. Thank you guys for watching. Everybody stay gold.